Ask the clerk to be sworn, please. You swear upon your testimony about giving this history of truth, both truth and nothing but truth, Dr. Doe. I do. Have a seat. Slide up the microphone, please, ma'am. May I proceed? Thank you, Judge. Good morning. Good morning. Can you introduce yourself to the jury and spell your first and your last name for a court reporter? I'm Clarissa Libretto. C-L-A-R-I-Z-A. L-E-B-R-E-D-O. Where are you employed, Ms. Libredo? The Adelson Institute. How long have you worked for the Adelson Institute? Almost 40 years. Where is the Adelson Institute located? Tamarack, Florida. Do you, do you know the exact address? 7737 North University Drive, Suite 207. Has it been at that location for the past 10 years? Yes. And what is the Adelson Institute? It's a dental office. <laughs> what is your position in that dental office? I'm Harvey Adelson's, Dr. Harvey Adelson's assistant. Do you ever work at the front desk? I'll answer the phone, but that's not my job. You're more of the practical dental assistant. I'm a post. dental assistant. I'm his dental assistant, you Dr. Don't. Adelson's. Okay. Who is Erica Johnson? She works in the office. And what does she do for the office? She works up front, and she's a surgical assistant. To whom? To Charlie Adelson. So you work for Dr. Harvey Adelson, so obviously you know who he is, correct? Yes. Do you know his wife? Yes. Who is that? Donna Adelson. Is she employed by the Adelson Institute as well? No. She does not work at the Adelson Institute? Not now. Did she work there back in 2016? Yeah. Uh, yes. What about 2017? Not all the time. So you're telling me she was not the Adelson Institute's office manager? She, she was the office manager but didn't come in every day. Not... Mm -hmm. can't remember all the... Would it refresh your memory to see a transcript from your deposition that you took on, excuse me, that was taken of you on October 25th of 2017? No. That wouldn't refresh your memory? No. Okay. Do you recall being asked the question, what does Donna do at the Adelson Institute okay. and your response? Overruled. And your response was, Donna was our office manager. I would say that sometimes. I say different. It's office manager. She's the boss. But, so she does work at the Adelson Institute? Yes. And you're familiar with uh, Har Harvey and Donna Adelson's children, are you not? Yes. You know Charlie Adelson? Yes. As well as Wendy Adelson? Yes. How long have you known them for? Wendy was about two. And he, Charlie must have been six, six years old. So you've known them mostly? For almost 40 years. Okay. And if you could wait till I'm done asking the question so the court reporter can get down everything correctly, okay? Back in uh, 2000, I'm like in the 2015, 2016 time frame, who all was employed at the Adelson Institute? Erica, Erica, myself, Dr. Adelson, Charlie, and our hygienist. Who is that? It was Amy. And then, of course, Donna Adelson. And then Donna. And those are the only employees that work there, correct? Yes. Are there any other dentists who work at the office besides Dr. Harvey Adelson and Dr. Charles Adelson? No. What are the business hours for the Adelson Institute? Eight to five. And then we had a late night that was 11 to seven. And the eight to five business hours, those were Monday, Tuesday, and Thursdays, right? Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday, yeah. And the late day was Wednesday would be 11 to seven. Tomorrow. Right. We've changed it, but. Back at this time. Those back at that time, it was 11 to seven on Wednesday. Would those be your regular working hours as well? I'm sorry? 
would those times that you've indicated and dates that be the regular hours that you would work as oh, well? Oh, yes, yes. Did y'all routinely see patients on a Friday? No, not regularly. What about on the weekend? No. Does Adelson Institute have, like, or back at this time, because I know you have a service now, but back at this time, 2015, 2016, uh, if a patient were to call the Adelson Institute and y'all were closed because it was Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, that call would be routed to a voicemail machine y'all had, wouldn't it? Yes. And every Monday morning when you came in, y'all would, it was like an old school machine. It was, it, it was, yeah. And I would, would hear the messages at 8, as I open up, quarter of 8, 8 o'clock. Yes, ma'am. So you'd re review those voice messages and then return the patient's phone calls that had called while the office was closed. Yes. Does the Adelson Institute, if you're aware, maintain, like, employee records? They must. They I, must because they're a business, right? Exactly. Okay, do you know who has access to those employee records, employee files? No. You don't? No. Would it refresh your memory to see the deposition transcript that you took in October of 2017? No. Do you have access to employee records? No. So back in your deposition, you were asked, question, does anyone other than Harvey, Donna, and Charlie have access to employee records to your knowledge? And your answer was no. Can we get a page or line reference? Yes, sir. Me? Sorry, page 10, lines 3 through 6. Do you remember being asked the question, does anyone other than Harvey, Donna, and Charlie have access to employee records to your knowledge? And you answered no. Objection and proper impeachment. No. Overruled. Do I remember that question? Do you remember being asked that question and getting I don't that? remember. Okay. But you don't want me to refresh you by showing you the transcript? Okay. No. Do you remember um, during that deposition going to the Broward County Courthouse to be deposed? Yes. And you recall that counsel for defense was present at that deposition? Yes. And a representative from uh, the state was also present? Yes. And there was a court reporter there, just like we have today? Yes. And she was taking down every word that you said as you said it? Yes. And you recall raising your hand and swearing to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth yes. during that deposition? Do you recall two police officers coming to the Adelson Institute back in June of 2016, around 11 o'clock in the morning? Yes. And how did you know they were police officers? I didn't. They weren't dressed as police officers. Did they advise you that they were? I don't remember. During the course of their being at the Adelson Institute, you learned that they were, in fact, police officers, though. Yes. When these two officers encountered you, and this would have been June 1st, 2016, did they ask you if you were familiar with an employee named Catherine Magbanwa? Yes. And you told them, no, you were not familiar with an employee named Catherine Magbanwa, correct? Right, correct. At that point, did you go seek assistance from another employee at the Adelson Institute? I went and got Erica. This is the Erica Johnson we mentioned earlier? Yes. And once you got Erica Johnson, did she then go and speak with the investigators yes. herself? Yes. Do you know the defendant in this case, Catherine McBanawa? The female no. defendant? Do you know if she's ever been a patient at the office? She's been a patient. And that's the extent of your understand, understanding of who she is, is as a patient of the office? Yes. And approximately how many times has she been a patient there? I think we worked on her once. She was a patient one day in my chair. Is it possible she was a patient more than once? 
Because she might have had a cleaning, too. And you're not able to say that Ms. Magdano was employed by Adelson Institute, are you? You're actually asked an answer. Swiss Bank. And you're, I believe you said it's now been 40 years. Um, but in the entire time that you worked at the Adelson Institute, have you ever physically seen this woman at the Adelson Institute? No. Other than as a patient? No. How do you get paid by the Adelson Institute? Are you hourly or salaried, do you know? I think I'm salary. Do you get paid by check? Yes. Do you get paid in advance of the time period you're going to work, or do you get paid once you've completed a certain once time? Once you complete, every two weeks. That was my next question. You're paid every I'm two paid weeks. every two weeks, yes. Do you ever get paid for weeks of work I can't talk, I'm sorry. Do you, have you ever been paid for weeks of work prior to completing the work? No. Have you ever ever received three paychecks at a time? Yes. When? If they're going to go away on vacation, then that's when I would get maybe two extra checks. The weeks they were going to be away, then I got, because I'll be in the office while they're away. How frequently would that happen? Once a year, when it, when they go away. So that that would be a very rare occurrence for you to be paid multiple paychecks at a time. Yes. Were oh, you yeah. ever, sorry. Yes. Were you ever paid four paychecks at a time in advance? No. Nothing more than that. No. Neither. <clears throat> Have any of Charlie Adelson's girlfriends ever been on the Adelson's payroll, to your knowledge? Not that I know. And have you ever been aware of any Adelson Institute employee in the history of your uh, employment there that worked exclusively by phone or remotely? No. Are you still working there to this day? Yes. If I could have one moment, okay? Hey, bye. I have no further questions. Thank you, Ms. Liberator. Thank you. Garcia. Just one second, Rob. Labrado. 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 Good morning. Good morning. Correct me if I'm wrong, Charles Adelson would travel a lot for work. He would be at other dental practices doing work. Yes. I think the term is called a suitcase dentist. I've never heard of that. You were asked a question by the government. They asked you if any employees had ever worked by phone for the Adelson Institute. And it was if you know. Do you know if anybody ever worked by phone? No. It is possible that somebody did work by phone for the Adelson Institute and you just don't know. I don't know that. Don't know the answer. Don't know the answer. You don't know what you don't know. I don't know. I've never heard of that. One brief moment, John. Nothing further. Pretty direct. <clears throat> Any juror have a question of this witness? Uh, write your question down. We'll go side far. So were you the only one that checked the voicemail machine? 
Yes. Uh, you're not aware of anyone else ever doing that. When Erica comes in, she might check it also. Okay. But yeah. usually I'm the first one for a while because I come in at eight, quarter of eight. Right. So you're usually the first one in. Yes. And and you check them when you come in. Yes. Okay. Any follow up, Miss North? Yeah. Follow up, Garcia. Yes, Good late morning. Um, exactly. Just to follow up on that issue, while while you indicated yourself and another employee had the ability to check the voicemails, would I be correct in assuming that Dr. Harvey Adelson could also check his voicemails? Now they can. Okay. Like today? Now meaning now we have an answering system, answer comm system. Okay. And when did you get that system? Oh, maybe over a year ago, a couple of years maybe. So before that you had like a machine? Yes. So they couldn't retrieve the messages. Who was in charge of this phone line? Well, let me let me ask it this way. Did Harvey Adelson have the ability to contact the phone provider with regards to the line for the Adelson Institute? Sustained. Did was Mr. Adelson the owner of the of the Adelson Institute, Harvey Adelson? Dr. Adelson, yes. Yes, he was the owner, correct? Yes. Did he have the ability to participate in actions with regards to the telephone uh, database that you guys had? He doesn't listen to the messages. Are you sure he's never listened to one of the messages in the whole time that you've been there? You mean he actually physically goes and, no. Have you ever, has there ever been a time where Dr. Adelson was there that you weren't there? I'm sure. I'm right, not. so there's, there, there's times where you indicated that there's a split schedule, correct? With regards to the time, the hours of operation? Regarding the time, yes. Okay. And then there's some days that you're open from 9 to 5, correct? Eight to five. I apologize. Eight to five. And what days were that again? Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Okay. And I'm going to ask you a question, not that you recall, but on July 1st, 2014, that was a Tuesday? Do you remember if that... July, July 1st, yeah. 2014. If I told you that was a Tuesday, would you have any reason to believe that I'm telling you something incorrect? That's not well, let, let me ask you this. On Tuesdays, you guys were open from 8.30 to 5, correct? 8 to 5. Okay. If Dr. Adelson was ever expecting a call, did he have the ability to forward the, off the office calls to his cell phone? Objection. Objection. Well, I she don't can know. answer if she knows. I don't know. Thank you. Hey, Graham. No, nothing further. Thank you. Right. Hey, read, Greg. Yes, sir. All right. You can step down. Do we need to keep this witness any further? No, Your Honor. Right, you're excused.